Privacy is becoming harder and harder to find these days, and that starts with how we search for information. In this video, we are going to review Google, a self-hosted, privacy-focused meta search engine that provides Google search results without ads, tracking, or JavaScript. This video was selected based on a Discord vote over the weekend. If you want to cast your vote for a video you want to see, jump on the Service at Home Discord server and vote. Let's get started. Installing Google is super simple because it does not require any data sets at all. We can jump right to our Apps tab, in the top right, click Discover Apps and type in Google. Click the result and click the blue Install button. The only thing we need to change here is the network configuration where it says Web UI port. In the port bind mode, click the drop down arrow and click Publish Port on the host for external access. Now scroll all the way to the bottom and hit Install. To install Google on Dockage, start by jumping over to my wiki and in the search bar, typing in Google. Click the result. Select everything in the Docker Compose tab by clicking this Copy button. Jump over to Dockage, start a new Compose stack, call it Google. Remove this placeholder data and paste over it with the Docker Compose for Google, and then click Deploy. Now that Google is deployed, I'm going to click on it and then click the Web UI button. And here we are at the Google search page. I can type in a test search to confirm it's working. And here are my search results. We can make this look just a little bit better. Let's go back one page and click the configuration drop down here. We have a lot of options on how the search works. We can specify a country we want to search in, time period, languages. We can do it reference based on a city name if we want local results. We can block certain things. And we have an entire list here of options for privacy as well as customizability for our results. One section I want to point you to is the custom CSS box. This looks pretty good, but I think it could look a lot better. Let's jump back to the wiki and scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says add custom CSS. We can find a bunch of user submitted CSS on GitHub. I'm gonna use this link and I'm specifically gonna choose the Google dark theme. I'm gonna copy this entire block of text back to my Google search page and then paste it in the custom CSS box and click apply. Now I have this nice dark theme. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more videos focused on privacy, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up by clicking the button below the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to get the latest videos as soon as they're released. If you want to have a longer conversation about privacy, jump on our Discord server, and as always, stay curious.